Hello everybody and welcome back to a Temple 420 Bible study and tour tour. I'm Charlie. I get to be your tour guide. We're in John. We're going through John 1. The word, the seed was with God. He was with God in the beginning. Who's he? The righteous branch. And what do you need to do to please God? You need to actually light the branch on fire, spread the aroma and knowledge of Christ, and say, here God, here's your daily offering pleasing and satisfying a food offering. So all of the words that we hear on the song go back to one seed, which we just read in Matthew 6, where, hey, don't worry. Do not worry about your food, clothing, and shelter. God knows everything, and he's going to provide it all for you. And trust me, if you believe like I do, that he's in charge of diseases and he sends everything and he can do whatever he pleases. If you please him, you're good. It's protective custody. If not, you're in a jail cell. Oh my goodness. Let's not worry. Let's not talk about jail cells right now in America, right? Embarrassing. Here, <clears throat> I do feel sorry for the victims because they still have the memories. Hopefully we can wash their memories away and we pray for them. But justice actually has been done. He's dead. He's now with God. So we think that he hasn't gotten justice except for the fact that he's now in court with Hashem and he's a pedophile and trafficking and oh my goodness, I would not want to be that person on earth and then definitely not want to be that person with God because at that point, God can do whatever he wants for as long as he wants. So that guy thought he was getting out of this world. He stepped into a bigger pile of shit. So please pray for the victims that they can wash their memories away and create new ones thanks to Hashem and the aroma. But for the guy who killed himself or was killed or somebody turned their eye and had it done, whatever the conspiracy theory is, I believe them all because I know how God thinks. Something happened. Something had to have happened. But in John, we're learning that the true light gives light to everyone, and it was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize who he was. We only saw Jesus Christ. We only saw the man. We only saw the form of man. And then we said, oh, he's God in the flesh, the form of a human. No, that's opposite the Ten Commandments as well. And at that point, you dishonor God because he says, no other gods besides me. And Jesus says, serve him only. And you shall not have any God in the form of anything in heaven, on earth, or in the waters below. At that point, definitely no form of a human. So I'm really, really trying to make you guys understand. We did get fed some misinformation of the Pharisees from Constantine and Constantinople when the Greek canon was written eliminating the Hebrew and the Judaism from the, the Bible that we know. So, here's the next interesting sentence. It says, um, Though the world did not recognize him, he came in... Uh, he came so that... Uh, I can't even read my words with all, with all my writings. So he came... Uh, so that I really, I actually can't do this video. Oh my goodness. I almost paused the video, but we're almost done. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't see with all the lights and the writings in my car, my, I can't even speak now. Okay. So this is a blunder video. We're going to let it go. And anyways, he came into the world. He came so that. He can't, this is really embarrassing. Okay, I'm done. 